Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I wanted to make the updates for this month or what are the things that we should be waiting for this month on August 2016. So the first thing that are to come is the new Omni units which is the Days and Sect batch. Uh, I think there will be 3 Omni units for this one and most of them are gonna be really really good. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So actually there will be 4 uh, Omni units here. So Rela, Sect, these, I mean Days and Stain. Uh, 4 of them will be all Omni units and this is the Comrade and Nemesis batch. The next one here is the one that I've been waiting for months here. Um, we will finally have our Elsa and Alice Omni Evolution form here available in Global. But I think this one will come in about week 2 or week 3. But I really do hope it comes sooner than this because I am really looking forward to these two. So yeah. These two are sisters and they all look really good and their Omni form will be very very good as well. So I think Elsa can be a replacement for Phallus for Frontier Gate or Frontier Hunter or anything. I think anything that you want to bring her for since she is dark unit and she will be neutral for most of the elements. So yeah, these two badge is what I've been waiting for so long. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to those two. So Comrade and Nemesis and also Elsa and Alice. The next thing that will come this month in August is actually the new Frontier Gate which is a gender restricted Frontier Gate. As for the content and how to do it, I still have not researched for it yet so I don't know anything yet how difficult it will be. But I know that there are two spheres and also two elgifs that are gonna be available as a reward from this frontier gate. I'm not gonna talk about the elgifs. I'm going to talk to you guys about the spheres that you can get from this frontier gate. So this one's the first one is the one that you will get from the male version of this frontier gate. It's it's gonna be called versatile device. So all these frontier gates are gonna have a device on the name somewhere so this one's gonna boost your critical damage damage reduction for one turn when damage taken has exceeded certain amount and also a 30% boost to attack and max aim. that is huge I'm I'm not gonna really care about the first ones but those are really good as well so damage reduction but the 30% boost to attack and max max HP are really really good. so yeah really looking forward to this one as well the second one is the female version reward for the frontier gate here is vitality device so this one's gonna be a little bit i don't know so this one's gonna slightly absorb hp damage taken may, may restore hp so it's gonna be a bit like selena and asami here so so a drain and a hp return when hit so i don't really think it's that bad but maybe not that useful as well but the next part here is that it will also boost 30 percent to defense and max hp this last part is really i really like it when it boosts either well the first thing that it will, it will boost is max hp it's really really good and the second part i always look for a defense to attack or defense those three are really important so the, the rewards from these two frontier gates are gonna be really good. so yeah i'm gonna see how hard it is and hopefully it will be a fun experience as well so this month updates are gonna be really really good since we will also be having the new Grand Gaia Chronicles which is Cell Knight's Grand Gaia Chronicles but for the Omni Evolution it will not be coming that soon since I think Japan still does not have his Omni Evolution yet but when it comes hmm my favorite character is gonna have his Omni Evolution as well so I'm really happy for that but for this one, for this Grand Gaia Chronicles, uh, the thing that you will get is Force Gems, Free Gems as well. 
and Arma Zell and a exclusive sphere and this one I'm really sure that this one's gonna be a special sphere for Zell Knight himself so this one's a sphere called Thief's Treasure this one will boost your max HP by 40% pretty huge but that's the only thing that it will boost and the last part here is so Zell Knight since it says BC collected will hugely boost attack for 3 turns Hot Crystals collected hugely boost defense for 3 turns Okay, so it will also boost attack and defense but after you collect your BC and Hot Crystals after not bad I guess it's not bad and it's gonna be really useful for Cell Knight it will also hugely boost BC, H, C, Cell, Karma, and item drop rates. I don't really think that Cell Knight needs this anymore, but then see Cell Knight and it will boost his effects more. But if you also equip this on other units, it will be more useful, I think. But since it's a special sphere for Cell Knight in the future, um, I don't know. Pretty weird, but we'll see. We'll see. We will see how good it is. But yeah, I I never really hated all these Grand Gaia Chronicles Frontier Hunters since they will be a lot of rewards and free gems for us. So yeah, yay! And those are the things that will come that are also available from uh, Brave Frontier Japan that will come to Global this month. Um, for our own Global server i really hope that will be well some of them are confirmed already so we will have some guild defense uh there will also be guild rankings that the ranking thing is that we are all the guilds that in Dre frontier are going to be able to compete for ranks and all that so most likely from frontier hey frontier gate frontier hunter and i don't know what else it will be and I really hope that will be more features and goodies from the guild thing but for now uh, I'm still just collecting my guild points for the spheres and nothing else and upgrading the XP boost from the guild thing so far we only got to level 2 so we only get 10% XP for, from our guild so yeah we're working on that for now and the next thing that I hear that will come for global server is there will be more global exclusive series that will be coming this month. Well, and I really hope it's not gonna be like uh, the last one, like Terry, Yori. Well, those are collaboration units, and I don't really have a lot to say about them. But the last one, Azurai, was really good. But his counterpart, which is um, Yala, is a really big fail, I think. So I really hope the next ones are not gonna be like that. And hopefully, yeah, I still do hope that Yala is gonna get fixed or get buffed at some point. Since I really don't see the need to use her at all for now. So hopefully, the next series, the next patch, I really hope it will be really good. And I really do hope that they will also come with a certain kind of um, content for the game as well. So hopefully Grand Quest, um, Grand Gaia Chronicles, Trials, or even the Raid thing for them. Since it will really add color and a lot of things to a unit if they do that. So I really hope the new global exclusive will come with some kind of content for now, this month. I really hope that it will do that. And I also heard that we in Global Server will have a new Frontier Gate as well. So this is the Frontier Gate X2. I the last one. The last one was pretty interesting since I did not even complete it. But I still got all the rewards and the reward I gotta say it's not really that bad it's pretty good and it really helped me complete my Noel's trial which it did I mean genius's trial just now it was really a really challenge and you know what um in the process of completing it I was really in a big stress but after I'm done with it 
I was really free and I was really happy. It was really good. It was really good. So yeah, hopefully this new X2 FG for our global server is gonna be really good and interesting like the last one. I really like it. And the other thing that I really wish for global to have is, you know, we currently have the speed up function for our our auto battle, but um, if you do it on repetition, you cannot set the speed down from the repetition option. And I really hope that the speed up thing will be included in the repetition thing, since if we do it now, we have to press the speed up button every time we go in the dungeon, and it, and it will not stay that way, it will reset. And I really hope that there will be an option to put the speed up on the option before we begin. So I really hope that one will come this month as well. And I really hope there will be more features on the auto battle soon. And I really hope there will not be more bugs for our global surface link. And if there is one, I really hope you guys fix it so fast. Because the last one, the minus one turn on the buffs it was really annoying yeah but it's now fixed so i'm really happy for it and i think these are the most possible things good things that will come to global and i'm really looking forward to all these and i really i kind of hope there will be more but i think this lot is i think enough i really was hoping for another trial this month in global but We'll see, we'll see, we will see. What I'm really looking forward the most are the days and tech batch and also Elsa and Alice Omni. So yeah, bring them up really soon guys. I really want to evolve them and use them again. So yeah, I guess that's most of it. That's all for this month and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you do and share it with your friends as well. And if you're new to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel this is a really good time for it just press that fun button over there and join the fun train guys and the next video i really hope i have the time to replace my lamp over there but for now thank you for watching guys i'll see you guys later bye bye Cheerio.